Hey, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? Should I look at the camera or you? Uh, you can look at whatever you want. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, I'm going to look at you. So, uh, how long have you lived here for? I've lived here for six months. Six I months. leave on the 21st of July, 2009, also known as 5769 to the Jews. Okay. And, uh, why'd you come here? I was given a free trip to Israel for six months by a really rich guy. Cool. His name's Dick Horowitz, really nice guy, by the way. Dick Horowitz. I like the Aish, 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 uh, Aisha Torah. That's where I'm at, right? Alright. Uh, so what have you been doing with your time here? Studying, um, Jewish history, philosophy, um, uh, a little bit of Gomorrah, a little bit of, uh, you know, the stuff. Torah, that good stuff. You know? Learning Jewish daily living, why you do the things we do, and so on. Right, cool. So, um, in the past six months, mm. uh, what's happened with the Palestinians and Israelis? I really haven't gotten any TV in six months. They kind of take it away from you when you go to what's called yeshiva, which is school for Jewish kids. Okay. I can't. Hello? Okay, fine, hang up on me. I'm with you. So, uh, so you're at a yeshiva. And is that not going to talk in the conversation at all? Uh, it is a school stuff. Um, yeah, we don't we don't deal with the, the stuff that's happening in days, like now. Uh, so do you know like they do Torah know? codes. I don't know what, I'm just telling you. Yeah. Um, and, um, and to tell you the truth, uh, we don't really talk about daily like stuff that's going on. We're really kind of head involved into the uh, into the Gomorrah, into the Talmud. So it's really just conversations about what you're learning in class. Right. Um, it, very rarely do you get like, uh, there's a a guy who uh, is a bestseller, his name's Ken Spiro, who's one of the teachers. We also have another guy whose name's Gerald Schroeder, who's uh, probably one of the top five scientists in the world. And he teaches at the school as well. So uh, we get aspects of, of stuff, but we really don't get like, you know, like something's going on and like, uh, we get briefs. I'm, I'm, I mean really brief, like, oh, this thing happened on a college campus three weeks ago. And you're like, oh, it did? Oh, okay. We don't have TV. Right. So I haven't ha I haven't really gotten to sit down and watch TV like a, an American does for like days on end with not doing anything, smoking a joint, and complaining about things. Haven't done that in a while, and um, uh, I, I can't wait to get back to the states. So you can do that. And sit in front of my projector, 7.1 se speaker surround sound, uh, smoke a joint, and complain about the state of affairs of the world instead of actually trying to do something about it. Sounds solid. Well, I'm I can tell you I'm very upset with Obama for coming to. Uh, this beautiful land that we call the Middle East and not showing up to Israel. He went to every other country, but he didn't come here. Why do you think that is? Because he hates the Jews. Really? I don't know, I'm just making that up. But... <laughs> okay. but, uh... Truthfully, I think that the state of affairs of the world that we're in is kind of screwed. Um, I believe that I'm going to go with a, a great quote from uh, Bob Marley, which says, we have to fulfill the book. I believe in my own point of view, of course, this is not in anyone else's point of view, but I believe that um, that which we would call the blue bloods or those with the money in the world have fed us a bunch of bullshit for a really long period of time. And the essential beauty of what religion was, monotheism was, was an amazing concept. And then people put their grubby hands all over it and made it really dirty and crappy. And so um, it's a sad state of affairs that we're in. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the way the world works, though. At least that's the way the world has been made to work by those who have the money. Because might is right, and the ones with the money are the ones with the might. And that's just the way it's been since the beginning of time, so... Unfortunately, that's the way it is. Do you think we could ever find some hope in this hope. You know, crappy world that we live in? As soon as the world gets a, a, a nuclear bomb and explodes and a lot of people die, and then we start to cry and feel bad about the decisions that we've made, maybe. Cool. Thank you. No problem.